What's going on guys and welcome back to the Bloodline MyGM series. Today is the season series finale. We'll be finishing up this series today. Uh, we are four weeks away, three weeks away from WrestleMania and uh, we'll make sure to have the, uh, this, the fun finale coming up in today's episode. Uh, I just want to again say thank you to everyone who takes the time to like these videos, subscribe to the channel, and share these videos as well. It means so much. We'll be doing another McKenzie Rip segment today with the 2021 uh, Spectrum AEW pack. Uh, hopefully gets a bit better luck in, in that one today. And uh, without any further ado, let's jump into this episode. So here we are. We're in week 22. We are... a uh, I want to say comfortably in first place. I think it's by 40,000 fans over NXT 2.0. They don't have their first GM trophy yet, which is kind of crazy because we're playing on extreme difficulty and extreme AI. So that's kind of kind of a letdown. But uh, okay, so here we are. So we have to, we've promised Rikishi he'll, he can have a match against Jey Uso, uh, which we can do because he is in a... Uh, he is in a tag feud with the Usos right now, teaming up against his sons. Uh, we have to watch out for Sami Zayn's contract expiring next week. So we need to save money where we can just in case he asks for a ridiculous amount because he's feuding with Roman Reigns for the main championship. So we got to watch out for that. I was going to go ahead and book the uh, Tier 3 Arena, but now we will wait because of that Sami Zayn situation. So what we'll do first off is we'll just get this match booked. There we go. They're level two. So maybe I will leave that as the main event. Uh, all stamina is okay. Everyone's at least 50. So that's, that's good. Um, we are going to get Mustafa Ali and Boss Hicks in a match here. We are going to have... How are the ladies doing? Uh, Whitney Quaid and Billy Starks can get one going too. And then Soul Sokoa and Jordan Oliver... Stamina is both good. Rivalry level four or level three. It could get to level four. Um, do I want to do that right now, though? I'm thinking yes. And best case scenario, the rivalry actually doesn't go up and it kind of stays put for now. I wouldn't mind that at all. So we can get one more match out of them. But uh, someone's got, yeah, Jordan Oliver's got the uh, table... Uh, match specialty so we'll do that there and then over here i think we'll just leave it as is because there's a lot of star power a lot of popularity in this match uh so i think that should actually be okay uh over on this side we'll do Sami Zayn calling out roman reigns we have naomi who will be calling out nia Jax, and we have uh i guess i'll do a self promo for uh, maybe Jacob Fatu, who kind of... Yeah, Jacob Fatu is the one that's kind of on the outside looking in, uh, along with Tamina for WrestleMania, which is kind of unfortunate, but I, th I think we can just do that. Um, unless I can find someone for... Whoops. If I can find someone for Jacob Fatu in here, is there a fighter? Paragon J. Pierce. Um... Well, maybe I can actually get him up. Let, let's see. I'm going to sign to the end of the season Paragon J. Pierce because I have some power cards that I haven't used yet. So if I go ahead and do uh, Beginner's Luck on Paragon, that should take him to 26. I can do it again, actually. And he has good, good stamina. So if I go to Manage Roster now here, 26. Okay. Uh, not the best, but that's fine. So maybe I'll do that instead. Okay, so I'll change this over here to a third call out of calling out Paragon J. Pierce. There you go. Uh, okay. Okay. So that's what we'll do. That is going to be this week. Pretty solid, actually. I'm, I don't mind that. Ensure that your least popular available giant is in a match this week. I know a guy. I don't really need that. So we'll just skip over that. But Rikishi will be ha happy. We also have this little... Um, uh, little like note of Rikishi versus Mustafa Ali will, will receive a popularity boost uh, as long as they're not in tag matches. So I took advantage of that last last episode in week 21, and uh, yeah, I did get a little bit of a boost. It was a level, I think it was a three and a half star rated match for just like kind of a mishmash of uh, people thrown together. So I I like that. But for now, we'll concentrate on the uh, um, on the tag team feud. Um, yeah, and as you can see there, we're, we're a little bit, uh, yeah, I think it's like 40,000 fans over NXT 2.0. 
Okay, we'll get a better view after this. So yeah, this is looking like a really solid week. Level three rivalry to open up in a tables match and level two tag rivalry uh, in the main event. Uh, going going forward, I'm gonna try to find a new layout for this channel to where I can have the, the rules for that series um, that we're playing on screen at all times. But again, this is your first time here. We have uh, added challenges to my GM. Uh, one of those is no title matches on um, on weekly TV. All title matches are safe for the PLE. So that's why there are no titles on the line right now, even though there are three champions, no, two champions in action. Um, so that's one of the reasons there. So yeah, okay, good. I like that. We'll go ahead and call this show in. Again, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, I'll show quickly. Um, at the end of the last episode, Roman Reigns asked for two weeks off, so he is busy, um, which is good if his popularity stays put. If not, that may have been a mistake, but we'll see in we'll see in about two minutes. So we'll go ahead. We'll confirm this booking. Show is only costing fifteen thousand dollars, which is which is good. Started with NXT 2.0. It is Sammy Vortex versus Zelina Vega, and it is Butch Olaf. I think that's a tag match. Butch, Ola, uh, Butch and Olaf take on Elton Prince and uh, Brain the Dark. <laughs> Skip that. Over on WCW, it's Indy Hartwell, double champ. A lot of double champions. Indy Hartwell, double champion, taking on Sammy George. And uh, Duke Hudson taking on uh, Angelo Dawkins in the main event. And over on SmackDown, we got uh, Sensational Starla taking on Quinn B. Uh, I'm pretty sure Charlotte Flair is double champion or it's Alexa Bliss now. And then it's Ivar. Universal Champion taking on uh, real life Universal Champion Cody Rhodes in the main event. So we'll see if Cody can come out victorious there. So over on our show, we've got a tables match to start things off. Solo Sokoa versus Jordan Oliver. It's Jordan Oliver who picks up the win. In a good three star match, thought that would have been higher for sure. Uh, rivalry doesn't go up, so that's kind of good. I like that. Sami Zayn calls out Roman. Would have liked to see an increase there, but that's fine. Whitney Quaid versus Billy Starks. Whitney Quaid picks up the win. Two and a half star match. Rivalry grows, so that's good. Naomi calling out uh, Nia Jax. Good, that's level two. Mustafa Ali versus Boss Hicks. Mustafa Ali picks up the win. He's been on a big winning streak right now. No rivalry starts there. Jacob Batu calls out uh, Paragon J. Pierce. Starts a rivalry, good. And then in the main event, Jay and Jimmy Uso takes on Rikishi and Tama Tonga, and the heels pick up the win. In a great three and a half star rated match, and th that grows to level three, so that's good, okay. Wow, weak shows across the board that gives us the the best booking there too. That's uh, very weak shows, wow. Cody is the new Universal Champion. And what was the other thing we want to check out? Actually, I think that was it. Yeah, okay. Cody becomes the new Universal Champion and uh, we had the best week of all, so that's good. NXT 2.0 got show quality C, match card quality C for 32,000 fans. WCW DNC for 37 and a half thousand fans. That's weird. Actually, no, they had a big charity boost there. DNC from SmackDown for just under 31. An over on Rosh. Match card quality B? Okay, let's go. <laughs> for 47,000 fans, just under. Hmm. Match card quality B, eh? That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. What? Three star opener, two and a half mid, two mid. And then three and a half main event. That's okay. Fair enough. I won't, won't complain. Uh, good show tonight. Hashtag Raw. Raw slowly pulling ahead of NXT 2.0. Jordan Oliver is such a talent, uh, such a natural talent at tables matches. Tamatonga and Rikishi worked okay as a tag team. That's that's fine for tag chemistry. That's something I, I wasn't checking out actually. Um, great win for Whitney Quaid. She absolutely mopped the floor with Billy Starks. Wow. Tonga gets payback on Uso. It was uh, it was so intense when Whitney Quaid and Billy Starks went at each other, and feels like it feels like Oliver Mania at Raw right now. Wonder how long that will last. Way to go, Jordan Oliver. Uh, so there we are. We're in first place by a pretty big margin now, just under eighty thousand fans over NXT 2.0. We're all tied on uh, GM trophy. So Sami Zayn, this is what we want to deal with. My contract expires. Uh, Oh, 44,000. Okay, let's talk figures. Uh, your opening offer sounds fine. So we can afford that, no problem. Uh, I'm really psyched for this PLE. Sure. Uh, thanks for your match against Jay. And Rikishi's happy. Good. Okay. 
Good. Uh, anything journal-wise? Nope. Jimmy just wants to beat the PLE, which, fair enough, we can do that. How season challenges? Are we, anything else here? Completed all the ones I wanted to. Uh, start, rival start rivalries by using run-ins. Not a big deal, I don't think. That's fine. Um, changing roles, again, not that important. That We're okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go book level 3 arena tier. Finally, there we go. That's at level 3. And uh, yeah, okay. Going into... This show's weird. I feel like I've owed somebody something for like the last few shows. Now we can just book whatever we want. Before we do that, we're going to jump in to the Mackenzie Rip segment before I forget like last episode. So let's get into that now. Okay, guys, it's time for another Mackenzie Rip segment. We'll be doing the 2021 Spectrum box again and uh, hoping for something good. So let's get right into it. Fun transition. So here we go, guys. Got that uh, the second AEW 2021 Spectrum box. So here is the pack. Hopefully get a little bit better luck with this one. So we'll see what we get. These thick packs are also, I struggle to open with these. Okay, let me try that again here. Other side. <clears throat> here we go. Okay. Congratulations with the Billy Guns. That'll be interesting to see what that is. So we're starting off with a Powerhouse Hobbs. Jake Hager again. That's incredible. Excalibur. Excalibur. Nyla Rose Spectrum Gold. I think that might be numbered. Let me check that out. Wow, Britt Baker DMD. Yeah, that Nyla Rose is to 99. An auto Britt Baker to join with the other auto Britt Baker we have in the background there. That's awesome to see. Cody Rhodes Full Gear. That's kind of cool. Is that like made of metal? That is metal. And Billy Gunn uh, Memorabilia. See that? This is a metal card. That's kind of cool. This thing weighs a, weighs a ton. Very nice card there. I think the big winner from this one here is the Britt Baker Auto. So the yeah, second Britt Baker Auto we have to the, add to the collection now. I think this pack wins over the last video pack. And uh, yeah, so pretty big win all in all. Now back to my GM. With all due respect to Stu Grayson, I think this auto outdoes last uh, last episode's autograph. Britt Baker, we have another one to add to the collection now in the Spectrum. And that Cody card was pretty cool too. The uh, It's like full metal. It's super, like super heavy compared to any other card I've had. So that was kind of cool. I got to do a, bit, a little bit more homework on that. But now two weeks away uh, or two shows away from WrestleMania, Roman Reigns is still off. What is happening to his popularity? Is it staying? Oh. Oh, so good to know. Good to know going forward. Okay, so he's staying put on 71, which is good. Uh, okay. Jimmy Uso at 82. Let's go. Where is Nia Jax? 66 now because she technically had the week off. Uh, okay. Um, the, they're going to go in the main event. We're going to give the ladies the main event of Naomi versus Nia Jax. We are going to do a... Uh, Paragon J, are you still lowest? Okay, good. So we can do that again. Uh, power card for Paragon J. Plus 15. So now that's okay, good. Now it's not that ridiculous. He's already upset though, which is kind of annoying. Um, okay. Ye uh, anything I want to buy here? There's going to be one. This is what? Last Man Standing match? Maybe, should I just stock up on these to have a, a ridiculous WrestleMania? Maybe I will. Um, sure, I'll buy that just because. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. So then we will do Jacob Fought 2 versus Paragon J. Pierce. Level 1 rivalry. We got Mustafa Ali. I'd probably do a self promo for him. Stamina 43 and 39. So I don't, don't want to risk that. Um, okay, Howard, 75, 57, 46, that's a bit lower. I, I'm going to do that one again, actually, because they can have the week off after this. So we'll do that again, except this time we'll do it in a tables match. This should take them, Rikishi and Tamatonga, to probably mid-30s, which that will be okay. They can even do a, a promo in that case, but, uh... 
that will be good there to give it some match variety. And then to continue on that trend, maybe we'll also do uh, not, uh, Tamina 46. Yeah, we can do that actually. Oh, uh, there's too many heals. Uh, I'm still gonna do it, I think. Just, just to get uh, Tamina on the card before WrestleMania. Let's keep that feud going. Don't mind that, don't mind that at all. Uh, their stamina's a bit lower, I think I'll leave them off for now. And then do, trying this again, Sammy calling out Roman. We'll do Mustafa Ali in a self promo, and then... Um, I guess we'll do a call out from Solo on Jordan Oliver. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, not a bad show. We have level three everything now for assets. Good. I feel like, I feel like we're just playing this one out. This one uh, kind of we started kind of started running away with things here in this episode, or sorry, in this series near the end. It was a struggle at the beginning, but uh, we'll see. I think I think I have. It's as soon as I get the money coming back in. It makes everything so much easier. So I have an idea on how to kind of cut that out for uh, for next uh, next series. So this is the card we're going with this week. I think this is pretty so Hopefully this grows. I need this to go to level three for sure. Um, this going to four would be good. Uh, yeah. Okay. And this going to level three would be would be big also. Actually, a rivalry increase everywhere, and this and this match is what we're aiming for. But, uh, okay, so that's this week. Starting with us, we got the tag team feud on going the Usos again versus Rikishi and Tamatanga. This time the Usos pick up the win. Now it's again, that's a, a tables match getting four stars. Good, love to see that. Sami Zayn, okay, excellent, there we go. Growing to level three. Tamina, Billy Starks, Whitney Quaid. This one might suffer because, ooh, the face did win. Okay, well, look, okay, three star match. Love to see that. And the rivalry group, perfect. Mustafa Ali, self promo plus one. Jacob Fatu versus Paragon J. Pierce. Will this grow? Jacob Fatu wins. Good. Okay, two and a half star match between those two immediately. Uh, didn't grow the rivalry though, which is a little bit annoying. This became level four. Perfect. Naomi versus Nia Jax in the main event. Naomi picks up the win again. And a good three star match. That's now level three. Okay. Oh, we almost got everything we wanted. Uh, Cody versus Ivar versus Drew McIntyre. Uh, title not on the line in the opener. Finn Balor takes on, uh, is that, I think it's Adrian Buck there. Or no, it's Adrian Williams. Uh, Odyssey Riff taking on Indy Hartwell, double champion, and Ilya Dragunov and Julius Creed put their tag team titles on the line. It's been funny. Uh, WCW have had the Creed brothers the entire time, but the entire series, it's been Julius Creed and Ilya Dragunov as tag team champions and not the Creed brothers. So interesting choice by Eric Bischoff. And then over on WCW, it's Clubberella and Candice LeRae who are tag team champions who are putting their titles up on the line. And they made it against Bailey and Rhea Ripley. That's a pretty crazy team. We'll see if they can pick up the win. There, much, much stronger booking now from the other shows. I don't know what happened last week. That was kind of crazy. Uh, we'll jump over to, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Ooh, and Club Arella got injured for five weeks. Ouch. They have new champions, luckily. Uh, so yeah, so other than this staying at one, everything else did grow. So that's kind of, that's that's good. And if there was one rivalry that was not to grow, I would probably say this one's fine. Um, you know what, I don't I don't think these, these guys are gonna be on the WrestleMania card, potentially. Um, but we'll see. Let me, let me plan that out right now. Uh, show quality C match card quality B for the second week in a row for about 49,000 fans. That's pretty solid. Uh, love tonight's Raw. Looking forward to next week. Yo, Raw, you know who deserves the world uh, the world title on his waist? Mustafa Ali. So unstoppable bro NA calling for double champion Mustafa Ali. Maybe just me, but uh, the... I think the perfect triple threat match has fan favorites out number rule breakers. It that worked out for me, honestly. Three stars is uh, pretty solid. Decent enough from Uwai Ali. Whitney Quaid is such a natural at being a bad guy. Uh, that match with uh, Jey Uso was so good. Tonga put in such a good effort. Big props. Tonight's Raw started strong and ended strong. I like it. 
Millie Starks and Whitney Quaid had a real cat fight in that brawl. Are you allowed to say that anymore? Is that like a weird thing? We don't call it cat fights? Hmm. Interesting by the devs there. Um, Whitney came so close before Billy secured the victory and really varied show. Added to the quality, keep it up raw. Good, I like it. Show quality D, match card quality. You know, I just realized that we had our first match card, our, our show quality C. Uh, so that's good. Uh, 40 and a half thousand fans from SmackDown. I think we're really running away with it here. Uh, WCW 37,000 and then our closest competitors had, okay, there we go. So they actually kept pace They, I mean, we have a big lead and they probably out, wait, didn't we, we got 49, didn't we? No, in any case, we got our second GM, of, uh, our second my GM trophy, we got bad timing. Uh, okay, okay, so look, they did that again. So NXT 2.0 did not have a trophy until week 23 and then in week 23 they got both. So good for them. They are actually, yeah, it was like neck and neck with us because it's still 78,000 ish fans behind. Um, but they got two GM trophies, so that's good. The go home shown to, rest, to WrestleMania. Uh, put your hair and square up. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Sonia, uh, something you wanted for a while, boss. Sticking to being the good guy all the time. How about it? Brian Oliver, this one's for you. Jordan Oliver is not gonna, I'm gonna say yes, okay? Uh, within the next three weeks, okay? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, what this means is he's gonna start the next series as a heel. So we'll get the switch over the next three weeks. He's happy. Uh, <laughs> hey boss, you've been benched for a while. I wanna get back in the ring. Uh, sure thing, you seem to get the crowd riled up. So uh, after asking for two weeks off, then asking why he's not been in the ring. Good call, Roman. Okay, so is there any power cards that are good? Fixed match? Nah, not really necessary. Uh, that would have been good last week, but that's okay. We've already signed Sammy. We got a Get the Tables special promotion, which this still allows you to do on PLE week, so I'll be saving that for sure. Um, we got a Hell Spog, I get schooled. Vito Champ. Cannot be used the week before PLE. Uh, or in week 25, so that just went in the garbage. Um, this is war. That just went in the garbage. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm still, oh, I'm still. E I feel like easily winning these things without using some pretty big power cards. Uh, if, if they've made, they need to create a fifth tier of like crazy GM, I guess, who are just ready to take you out. Um, okay, so this week, let me just check the roster quick, quick. Uh, I think everyone should be okay for Salmon except for Kishi and Tama. Tama Tonga can actually go again still. So that's good. Um, this is not stale, so that could be a, a, a match. Uh, 58 and 49, okay. And Billy Starks needs... You just don't want to risk her being injured. But what is the PLE going for? So we've got Sami Zayn, Roman Reigns, one match. Usos taking on Rikishi and Tama Tonga to the women's... World Championship. I'm gonna do that in a fatal four way, I think. Um, triple threat. Ali's gonna jump in the Soul Sickle, Jordan Oliver. So there's one more match on the card that I guess could be Jacob Vatu. Boss Hicks will get in there also. Maybe I can do that. Yeah, maybe we can do that. So uh, that's that's how the card is shaping up. Roman Reigns wants to get in a match, so we'll do that in the main event. We'll do this in a tables match there. And then over here, this is level four. We said, no, we're going to do this one here. We got Naomi and Nia Jax. Maybe we should do a call out. Uh, we'll see. Where's Jacob Batu and Paragon J. Pierce? And then Power Card. Do I have a... No, I don't have any to the moons left. Okay, no problem. Uh, what are you going to give me this? pre rash Fijio, that's fine. Um, okay, and then... Whitney Quaid. We said Billy Starks needs the week off, so I guess it will be Nia Jax and Naomi. Um, this is a very strong... Four, one... Three. 
I think that's good. I th this should, this might be our one of our no. This is definitely going to be our strongest um, our strongest weekly show. We are going to do Whitney Quaid calling out Billy Starks. We are going to do um, Mustafa Ali. Billy Starks is popularity is seventy four. Let's go. Mustafa Ali self promo keeping that up there, and then we'll do a tag team call just to keep both the Usos popularity high. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty solid. Uh, who would not be on the show in this instance? Yeah, taking a break, taking a break, taking a break. Not on the show, not on the show, not on the show. Okay, no, I think it's, it's solid. It's a solid go home show. Um, this is this at level four. That's fine. We want this to go to level four. We want this to go to level four. We want this to go to level two. We're taking advantage of this not being stale yet, and then paid off the PLE, and then we want that to go to level four as well. So. Okay, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid card. Uh, pretty straightforward going into the PLE. We have a get the tables, and a there can only be one power card to play for the PLE, um, as well as a special promotion. So I'm gonna try to really load up that WrestleMania card next week. So the, the variety is the only thing that's kind of off in this one. Do I have any faces who are just on the bench right now? Um, I guess Chuck McWagon. Just to, just to throw this one a little bit uh, of variety. We'll do that. Yeah, there we go. Again, shows are costing uh, costing not lo a lot at all, so that's good. Uh, another example of a double champion, Randy Orton. I think, that, does that make, I think NXT 2.0 is both uh, man and women's like the NXT women's and NXT men's champion is also a tag team champion on NXT 2.0 so interesting call there Sammy Vortex Selena Vega still going at it that seems like a, a long time now uh, WCW Duke Hudson versus Angelo Dawkins and Logan Paul is now the US champion defending his title against Otis in the main event over on Smackdown it's gonna be Becky Lynch, and there you go. There's another double champion, Charlotte Flair, taking on Alexa Bliss and Andrea Cannons. And it's a triple threat tables match in the main event between Balor, Williams, and Luke Gallows. So Jordan Oliver versus Soul Skull, a normal match. I'm expecting at least three and a half stars in this. I think that's a bit, that's, it's a bit soft. Their, their classes and roles match up. Their level four rivalry. I'm expecting a bit more from that. Whitney Quaid calling out Billy Starks. Good level four rivalry. Jacob Fatu, Paragon Pierce, and Chuck McWagon. Fatu is winning again. Two star match. Rivalries at level two now. Good. Mustafa Ali. Good good promo. Two popularity. Naomi versus Nia Jax. Could Naomi continue the winning streak? Ooh, no, she can't. Nia Jax picks up the win. And a great three and a half star match. So I guess that should have been the opener. And that grew to level four. That's good. That stays at level four. That's fine. And then Sami Zayn, Roman Reigns in a tables match. Sami picks up the win in a non-title match. And it's an amazing four-star match. The rivalry didn't increase, though. At least it's still at three, so it still can pay off um, in that uh, in the main event. Or, sorry, the PLE. So, pretty much on par with SmackDown for open and main. But our mid-card, it was just that second mid-card that, that might do the difference for us. CNC for NXT 2.0 for 40,000 fans. I'm, I'm expecting to get more than that. C and B for WCW, okay. 43,000 fans. D, show quality and match card quality B for SmackDown for 44,500. And we did C and B for almost 49,000. So we're, we just, uh, whoops, almost skipped the comments. Uh, great Raw tonight, good matches. Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns was awesome. Uh, weren't Tonga and Chuck McWagon started a rivalry? They were in the meantime, but uh, that's that's gone to the back burner. Uh, you gave the good shot, Naomi, but your good isn't on my level, says Nia Jax. Not sure the super, uh, the better superstar won tonight. Be seeing you again, Jordan Oliver. You will. Uh, happy to fight you anytime, Quaid. Only way, uh, only one way this ends. Whitney Quaid calling out Billy Starks tonight hit the, and hit the target. Good promo. Jordan Oliver gets the win over Solo Skola and feels like the crowd could grow. Uh, feels like this could grow into a legendary rivalry between Paragon J and Fatu. Interesting. Got that pre-match physio. And yeah, almost a 90,000 fan lead over NXT 2.0 right now. Going into WrestleMania, let's go. I'm going to be honest. Okay. Come on, Solo. But, you know, 
Uh, yeah, you're in one of our top stars. Here's 50k for helping carry this brand. Major increase, good. Uh, sure, Chuck McWagon. Uh, rest your female tag team champions this week. Nope, and that's not gonna happen. We are gonna do, we said at the beginning of this season, or beginning of this series, that we can do the upgrade of the PLE Stadium, so I will do that for this instance. Check the power cards quickly. Ooh, Tornado Alley 2. Ooh, and Forge and Fire. Wow, okay. Um, okay, so before I do that, I have to make sure I have enough money to get all of these. Um, so we have, there can only be one, and we have get the tables. Okay, so what is the... TLC is the branded PLE bonus. All right. Uh, okay, so let's start booking these. There's one. Uh, here is two. Here is three. Where uh, Mustafa Ali, Jordan Oliver, and where'd you go, Sol Skoa? We have got the tag team feud, and then it was the um, what was the last? Oh yeah, we'll do Jacob Fatu. Uh, I guess we'll make this a, a, a fatal four way also. Boss Hicks and Chuck McWagon. Okay, this is gonna feel special, I feel. Now that, like, this is the only singles match on the WrestleMania card, I feel like it's kinda cool. Um, here we go, there's only one person left, it's Tamina, who will be doing charity for us. Okay, so level four, level four, level four rivalry in that as well. Okay, so let's just go, this will be, hmm. We'll do Hell in the Cell, just to see. This one could be Tables. This one could be, you can't do Last Man Standing, eh? And uh, this would be the one that has to be Last Man Standing. That is what this is, right? I just don't wanna mess that up. Yeah, Last Man Standing, okay. Um, gonna play this before I forget. Now back to the show cost. Show cost still is only 60 grand. Not too bad. Uh, this, well, let's just make this a tag team title tornado tag. 42,000 is not that bad. Um, okay. We're probably going to switch this over here. Um, show costing 102,000 right now. Which we can still get away with. Two normal cards, uh, two normal matches on the show. Um, I think I'll. Go... Maybe I'll make this a hell in the cell, actually. And then make this one a last man standing. I was gonna spectate uh, the match, but last man standing will, would take way too long, I think. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. This is a, this is a, I mean this is just like kind of no matter what I do it'll be fine. I'm I'm not gonna lie, but this being a tornado tag with that power card played will surely be a five star match. This with Hell in the Cell being played should be a five star match also but then it'll just be because it's the only one on the show that is available for last man standing i feel like i'm wasting that card not playing it um no i'm just gonna risk it we we've won this for sure so we'll do last man standing here and this could be a normal match there uh no i forgot to put the title on the line put, put the title on the line 
and we will just we I think we have some time I think we can spectate that regardless so the show is costing 130,000 let's do some quick maths here add 105 to that oh we're still good forged in fire tornado oh yeah so we'll play get the tables we are gonna play forged in fire we are gonna play tornado alley and we are gonna play there can only be one okay good good play get schooled who's anyone close to going up to anything um jordan oliver's at 21 good for him where did whitney quaid go 20 okay good um oh i guess if i played on boss hicks he'd go to 10. but i think i just want to add this to roman reigns to give him a little bit of just extra something oh let's go he goes to tw i have no idea he'd go up that much okay so he roman reigns would become a legend very uh fitting for this for this bloodline my gm series okay um now this is interesting i think i may have just played last man standing for nothing because now both he and sammy have backstage brawl as their match specialty Thirty thousand, and now i don't have enough money to even do it that's tough oh man okay no worries Ah, oh, that is kind of brutal, though. And it, wouldn't be, it would have been better to watch too. Uh, let's. How much am I over? Thirty twenty-five thousand. Man, that's brutal. Ah, oh, well, that's fine. Then we'll do. Uh, oh yeah, we're still doing Last Man Standing. Okay, so that that'll be this card. Um, we're actually going to spectate this one, I think, instead. Because this is going to take way too long. I know, I feel like I haven't learned my lesson not doing multi-man matches. But I've never done a last man standing, and I feel like it's just going to take way too long. So yeah, I'm going to spectate this one here. Also, the first WrestleMania, I've not booked up every single promo slot. But everyone being on the card in matches, except for Tamina, who's cutting a nice charity promo, should be pretty solid. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, I think that's good. So we'll confirm that, and we're good to go. So starting off with us, let's go. Uh, I expect a five-star match from this here. New tag team champions, legendary five-star match of the Usos had been tag team champions the entire series, I believe, and they have just lost the titles at WrestleMania to their dad in Tamatanga. Uh, embarrassing. Charity promo. She got us 750 fans. Not bad. Mid card fatal four way. Jacob Fatu's on a big winning streak. Disappointing one and a half star match. That's not great. Um, okay. Hell in the Cell. Uh, Naomi, Nia Jax, Whitney Quaid, Billy Starks. Title on the line. And it's Naomi who continues the winning streak. Legendary five star match. Uh, good stuff there. Double, and as I was making fun of double champions, we now have one in Naomi. We'll spectate Mustafa Ali, Jordan Oliver, and Sol Sokoa. We'll see what uh, the, the new WrestleMania 39. Good stuff. Cincinnati, Ohio. I feel like it's weird they don't they don't just have it set as, as Hollywood um, or LA or wherever it was. Uh that's fine. That's fine. No worries, 2K. At least you have the right you have the right uh, uh, you have the right venue in the game this time around, so that's fine. So here we go. Triple threat match for the U.S. title. Jordan Oliver looking to get that back. Uh, again, I saw in the comments that we were trying to make Jordan Oliver a uh, Grand Slam champion in this series. Unfortunately, he's going to have to wait. I wanted to see him end on top with, uh, with um, uh, the U.S. championship and wait to the, the next ECW Attitude Era, my GM to try and become a tag team champion because that's all he's missing now he has had both the universal and world heavyweight championships he's held the intercontinental title he was u.s champion in this series and now he's only missing tag team gold from uh from his uh trophy cabinet to become 
a Grand Slam champion. That was a pretty sick move there from Mustafa Ali. Um, okay, so, um, uh, yeah, so actually on the topic of, uh, of uh, the next series, we have, what oh, was Solskjaer going to end it right now? Well, that was quick. <laughs> Okay, so Solskjaer is U.S. champion. On the topic of next series, though, we'll be doing a ECW uh, Attitude Era My GM, where we'll be doing a, a time frame. So it'll be any, anybody from the mid to late '90s that will be the roster. You'll see a completely updated roster that I've uh, started to work on already. So, so there's that. <laughs> um, I didn't. I was thought I was going to talk about it a bit more, but Solskjaer won, won that match pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, all right. So like I was like I was gonna say, uh, leave me your comments down below of who you want to see added from the ECW roster uh, into the MyGM series. Ah, so Zuko did that pretty quickly. I, I think I went with the right choice bef between uh, that and the Last Man Standing match. That's a five star match as well. I'm hoping to get this a five star match as well. Does Sami Zayn win the belt? He does. So Sami Zayn finishes his story. Uh, injured for five weeks. Luckily, that's not our problem. But Sami Zayn finishes his Usi story and beats Roman Reigns, who's been the champion from the very beginning. Uh, and Sami Zayn closes off this Bloodline My GM series as champion. Over on SmackDown, it's double champion Charlotte Flair. <laughs> Her popularity is 65 because she has. I don't think Charlotte Flair has been in a singles match in the last like 10 weeks. And uh, Cody Rhodes puts his Universal Championship on the line against Drew McIntyre in a falls count anywhere in the main event. At least that's something to talk about over on SmackDown. WCW has Julius uh, Creed and Ilya Dragunov taking on Damian Priest and uh, Joel Wheeler. And Red. F Why is Red Flame so big down there? That looks kind of weird. Uh, Red Flame is a. It is a main event against Duke Hudson and Angelo Dawkins in the main event and our closest challenger is Butch versus Braden the Dark versus Randy Orton for the NXT Championship and Zelina Vega is taking on Bailey in an Iron Woman match in the main event yeah so that's what I was kind of expecting to see so you know Smackdown had a really good show we'll give the Smackdown credit um WCW just kind of like even keel all the way through their lowest match being 2.5 star which does better than most mid carters um but yeah we just had four five star matches on our show and we were going to play a special uh, promotion card also so this should lead to pretty good things match card quality s let's go 313,000 fans that might be the biggest single total in season one I've ever gotten. Um, but that's pretty crazy. Match card quality S, very, very cool. 109 of a, of a possible 120 for match card quality. That might be the highest I've ever seen that as well. So really good stuff. Um, did you see that match? What a way to close out the season. Great job, The Rock. Thanks. I felt that Sammy took a hard fall. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I thought he was like talking like emotionally, closing uh, or finishing the story, but he's actually talking about Sammy Zane being injured for five weeks. That's right. Uh, what a crazy ride. Almost sad to see the end of the feud between Zane and Roman Reigns. I was hoping Reigns would end up having the last word, but it was still a great finale. Uh, that, was a, the, that may be the single greatest show I have ever seen. Super Disciple Tube. Thanks, buddy. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, we had that Tamino promo was for a good cause, although it was kind of boring. Uh, Raw, you need to give Naomi a break once in a while. No, no, she's double champion. We're following suit with all the other GMs. I'm not sure how much longer Pierce is going to stick with Raw. I wonder if something happened in the back. Holy crap, Sokoa finally won a match. Yeah, good timing for that. Sami Zayn's winning run continues on a total rampage, and tonight's Raw was much better than last week. That's pretty rude because last week's Raw was pretty solid. This was just an S tier show. Okay, SmackDown got show quality, see match card quality be for 206,000. That's actually not that bad. WCW, yeah, 178. The two over 200 by SmackDown is pretty solid. Uh, and NXT CNC, ouch, for 143. So I more than doubled what they did this week. So this is going to be a pretty, pretty comfortable win. We'll see in just a sec. Yeah, I'm taking this one home. 
NXT 2.0 ended up finishing last because of how bad that was. They were our closest competitor for, I want to say, 10 weeks, and they finished last because of how bad their PLE was. It was SmackDown in, uh, in all things that finished the closest to us, and, uh, and that they are behind us by about 225,000 fans. So The Rock knows what he's doing in this MyGM. We'll check out the Slammy Awards quick, quick. Uh, most TLC matches, okay. That's pretty random. I don't... I think I had one or two. Maybe two. The Tower, the highest average superstar height. Self-promos, the narcissist is Eric Bischoff. That's kind of fitting. Um, the Robin Hood, most charity promos from Sonya Deville. Season 1 summary. Raw wins everything except for best average card quality. And I, I you know what? I, I got to concede that because some of our early stuff was terrible. So, um, yeah, it was pretty brutal. The first couple of, uh, couple of shows. So I want to say up until like week 10, I remember we had, it was, it was in week 10. I'm pretty sure we had less than 10 three-star matches at that point. So we're talking like at least 40 matches. I think that would mean 42 potentially. And we had under 10 three star matches. That's not good, but everything else, uh, it's a clean sweep from raw. Very good stuff. Uh, some, uh, some other stats here. Highest average match rating Rikishi at 4.20 is pretty wild. Uh, he did only come out near the end though. Um, uh, in that last few, uh, few weeks of the, sh of the show. And he was paired with his sons who were on fire. Uh, most matches won was Jey Uso. Most popularity gained was Jordan Oliver. Wow, let's go. Most matches booked Jordan Oliver. Most popularity gained was 85. Wow, how low did I set his his popularity? Good for him. And most weeks spent injured Solsico at two, and that wasn't even our fault. That was NXT's doing. So I think that's uh, yeah, that's uh, let's call it on season one. I do want to check something here. Where's Sami Zayn? Because he's injured. Okay, 194 is not that bad. But again, for someone who has 92 popularity, pretty wild. Stamina, yeah, Naomi would be an easy keep too. 90 popularity, her stamina is going to reset. Where is Rikishi? 77. Uh, Roman Reigns. You'd probably want to keep Rikishi because he's your immortal. But that, that's where... And Billy Sarks, good for you. Got the 70 popularity. Or who's got 74 going into the WrestleMania, actually? Uh, okay. So not bad. That was a really fun uh, My GM series that was uh, focused on the bloodline. Uh, kind of had that inner turmoil from uh, what's probably going to happen in the next few months when, when Roman Reigns is, I think he's shooting a movie. I think he's away for about, like, I think it's three more months. Um, and I hope hopefully something really cool could happen with the OG bloodline somehow Roman Reigns and the Usos reunite to take on this newly formed bloodline of uh, Sol Sokoa, Tamatanga, Tangaloa uh, and maybe we'll see more members come in like Jacob Vatu, like Hikaleo so we'll have to wait and see but that is the reason why I did this my GM at this time I hope you guys really in, uh, enjoyed this series um, like I said we'll be starting a new Attitude Era ECW uh, my GM series soon. I believe that'll be dropping. I think I can get that out by Friday. So I will, I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, in the meantime, guys, please leave the comments down below of who you'd want to see from that ECW era join the show. And uh, if you've watched this far, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you haven't already, please leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. That helps uh, out grow this channel so much. It means a lot. The next episode, like I said, I should be able to get it out by Friday at 9 a.m. And as always, thanks for watching.